Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Hey, I'm on my way home from Vegas, but I got some numbers. Go look at the Omni site, www.livewithoscar.com. You'll see that we're looking to sell a rally today in the S&P. If S&P gets up into the 628, uh, 1528, 29 zone, I think we can sell it there. You have to keep your stops up high on the onset of the day. And then, of course, as the market starts to pull down, we'll pull our stops down as we usually do. Got to be a little careful here. The action has been very choppy, as you see lately. On Friday, I actually got a reverse to go short signal. However, you know, I had a losing day Friday, and I didn't want to reverse in case, oh my goodness, it worked out for the wrong side. The last thing I wanted to do was have two losers in the same day. So I sort of backed off, and I left the one trade out there. Of course, hey, you know, back, backseat driving is an easy thing to do. So in hindsight, yes, we should have taken that sell. But I don't like to reverse unless it's earlier in the day. So with that in mind, I, you know, I just sort of, we left that one trade out there. Hey, everybody has their losses, guys. You just come back out with your hands up. You throw your punches. You stand in there and you do your trading and you don't let anything stop you. And that's what I do. So again, we're looking to sell it tomorrow. Or be, well, tonight, put your orders in now. We're trading at 15.22 and a quarter as I speak. It's about midnight. I say that we're going to go up to somewhere in the 28, 29, 30 zone. I'm going to sell it there. My stops are going to be up there where you've seen on my side above 39. On the way down, if we get there, I think we can get all the way to 1502, 1503 with some support expected between 1511 to 1509. So that's what I'm looking at for tomorrow. When I get back into my office, I may find another trade or two, maybe in the NASDAQ, maybe in another commodity, and I'll put it out there on the website. But for now, all we have is that S&P trade. Keep your stops in. Place them first. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. I can't wait to get back in my seat. You know how excited I get when it comes to trading. For better or worse, I love to trade. So we'll see what happens. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, always place your stops first. And as I tell you all the time, stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.